Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Wayne Wilson and I'm a software consultant for the Mainview family of products. In earlier Quick Course demos, you have learned about the various actions that are available as either primary or line commands from each of the Mainview for ZOS views. You have also learned to place your cursor on either the primary command field or the view name or the command line field and press enter to find out what command actions are available from that view. However, you should be aware that most of the action facilities that are now available as primary or line commands were originally provided only by way of direct MVS console commands or, later, as action commands from MainView System Programmer Services. System Programmer Services is a simple version of what is available today in the much more sophisticated MainView for ZOS product. It was originally developed in the 1970s by Boole and Babbage as a product called Resolve, or Resolve Plus, and was designed as a productivity tool for systems programmers to inquire into and modify ZOS system objects. While most of the functions of SysProg services have been converted to the action commands and data displays available in MainView for ZOS, SysProg services is still supported pretty much in its original form. There are several reasons for this. For instance, there are a few services, such as resource tokens and the various system object services, that have not or cannot easily be translated into main view views. Also, there are many old-time users who are simply more productive with SysProg in its original form. Similarly, having a ZOS System Console emulator available from a TSO session was once considered a valuable and coveted productivity tool, enabling a SysProg to enter console commands from his desktop rather than having to go physically into the computer operations area and enter commands on the master console. While this desktop capability is currently available via a number of other means, including SDSF and other tools, having a console emulator within MainView for ZOS can sometimes be a useful and productive tool as well. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use both system programmer services and console emulator features in MainView for ZOS. Let's start from the EZMZOS view. There is a menu item for SysProg services on the right hand side of the screen under Utilities. We will use this hyperlink later in this demo, but you should also be aware that properly installed, System Programmer services are available as an ISPF dialog that can be accessed by entering TSO SysProg, percent SysProg, or just SysProg on the command line of any TSO screen. In this example, note that I have entered SysProg to see the non-main view ISPF interface. This is the SysProg services menu in ISPF dialog form. This is what a systems programmer would have used before main view as we know it today was developed. It is simply a list of all of the SysProg services that are available and can be executed directly with the E line command or selected for additional parameter options by using the S line command. Also, you can scroll up and scroll down to see the entire list of services. Many customers still prefer this method of accessing SysProg services today, which is why it is still supported. Press F3 to return to the EZMZOS view. Now that we are back at EZMZOS, click on the SysProg services option in the right-hand column under Utilities. This is the SysProg Easy menu under Main View Windows mode. You will note that unlike the ISPF version, BMC has separated the services into various categories. To view job-related activity, click on Actions in the job-related area. This is the job-related activity menu, and it shows the actions that you can take against jobs. As an example of executing some of the available services, let's assume that I want to improve the performance of my TSO session by changing its service class to that of a high-priority started task. Before we select the Change Service Class option, let's see what service class my TSO session is running in right now. I have a copy of the J over R view in Window 2 of my main view session. Let's see what it shows. Here in the J over R view, we can see that my TSO session, RCHWXW1, is running in the TSO Service Class. Let's swap back to Window 1 and change it. Place your cursor on the Change Service Class option and press Enter. As the instructions say, omitting both parameters will display a list of available service classes to choose from. This list shows all available service classes. 
You can scroll down to see more. Ah, here we go. STC High should work nicely for my session. Press F3 to return to the ES Class Service panel. Now I enter my address space name and the desired service class and press Enter. Note the results. The AMT XXX messages indicate what action has been taken. My TSO session is now set to the STC High Service class. Press PF3 to exit the display and swap back to Window 2. There you are. RCH WXW1 is now set to STC High. As you can see, there are many similar services that can be accomplished through the use of SysProg. The flow is similar for each. Select the service, enter any requested parameters, and press Enter. SysProg will perform the service and present you with a list of AMT XXX messages indicating the results. By the way, as you explore SysProg, you will see that there are many powerful services that you should use exercise and care in using. These include such functions as forcing an address space out of the system, changing link list, LPA, and other systems properties on the fly, and even zapping core memory. If your systems programmers have fully and correctly implemented SysProg, these powerful services will be protected by your security system in order to ensure that only those who know what they are doing and are properly authorized will have the ability to execute these services through SysProg. Regardless, please be careful. Now let's PF3 back to the EZM ZOS view and examine some console emulation features under main view for ZOS. Here we are back at EZM ZOS. Note the console option under SysProg in the right hand column. Put your cursor on that menu option and press enter. This is the console view in main view for ZOS. As I mentioned, there are lots of ways to access console services, but this is the way that it's done in main view for ZOS. Main view for ZOS emulates the master console. So any ZOS console commands that you would issue from the physical master can also be entered here. The only difference is that you must prefix your commands with a slash. Let's try it. On the command line, let's issue the display all command. There we have it. The results of the display all. Is that nice? You have the ability to perform console commands right from inside of main view. Now I know that I mentioned there are lots of ways to access console services, but this could be a quick way to do so without requiring an ISPF split screen or anything else. In fact, while in main view for ZOS, all you need to do is type console on the command line and you will be immediately navigated to this console display. After you enter your desired commands, just PS3 back to whatever you were doing. But how else could console be useful in main view for ZOS? Remember the cross systems context command. I am currently logged on to BMC's demonstration system, BMCA. Enter the command con BMCB on the command line, and main view system integration capability will show me the master console for that LPAR. Now we see the console for system BMCB. Remember, this is actually more powerful than the sysname command from SDSF. SDSF is limited to those LPARs within the same local sysplex. A main view CASplex can provide a single sign-on access to every ZOS image in your company's ZOS enterprise. Well, now you should be aware of some of the powerful ways that you can use main view for ZOS to perform action functions, both through main view sysprog services and main view console emulation. As always, for more information about main view for ZOS, see the related demos box. For more information about any BMC mainframe product, please visit the URL shown here. Thank you for your time.